What's going on, YouTube? My name is Listener Lee, and today, there's some tricks in these treats. Oh, oh, I'm unbeatable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Welcome to Spooky Season. It's been Spooky Season for a while, but I'm going to open up the Trick or Trade Booster Bundle Packs. I believe this is a um, retails for $14.99. We got 40 mini packs inside. I think three cards... Yes, three cards in each pack. Nothing really too crazy from, from any of this stuff. It just got a, a Halloween stamp on some some reprinted cards, which I think is great. We don't need everything to have like an, a crazy pull. You know, this is very accessible. Um, good way to get Pokemon cards out into some some kid hand, kids' hands for, for trick-or-treating. So uh, we got 40 packs in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and open 10 of them in today's video just so you can get a, a, a look as to this is so weird it feels like i'm opening candy uh a, a look as to what we can expect or what you might could expect from this mini set i guess i don't know if it's a mini set or what i absolutely love this artwork though this is a sick artwork they did a good job um with the artwork here so let's open up let's say 10 or so of these packs and as to do make sure you hit the subscribe button down below i do all sorts of pokemon trading card game content here on this channel I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2022. Don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'd really appreciate a subscription. And if you're into Pokemon cards, this is the channel for you because I open just about every new product that they they release. So definitely make sure you subscribe it. All right, let's go. We've got a Gorgeous. Are these all gonna be hollow? They are not all hollow. An Ariados and a Murkrow, okay. So it looks like the front card might be the hollow card, so I'm wondering if there's a hollow version of every card in here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can figure out if there's some kind of pack trick to this. Let's take the hollow, put it to the back here. All right, we, so we have a crocheted looking Zubat, a Nicket, and a hollow Dusk Noir. I wonder if only the rare cards are the ones that are going to be hollow. Yeah, because that Gorge Ice was also a rare card from whatever set it's from. All right. We're not going to worry about doing a card trick. We're just going to see what the, the rare is here. Darkrai from Darkness of Blaze, it looks like here on this one. Um, a cube on all and a Pulti S. And of course, the theme of this is like they're all supposed to be like somewhat spooky Pokemon um, in a way. Like dark types, ghost types, that type of thing. So um, here we go. That one's cool. Got a Trevenant. Spooky looking tree. Spinarak and a Dusclops. Okay, there's got to be a Gengar in here, right? Got to be a Gengar. It just wouldn't make sense if there was not a Gengar in this set. Where Gengar is literally on the front of the pack art. We got a Mimikyu, a Litwick, and a Sinistee. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have a house currently. We're living in an apartment, so we like the last two years we had a lot of trick or treaters come around. I was so like upset when I we saw this was coming out and we didn't have a house anymore to, for me to give these out which it is what it is um but it would have been cool to give give this stuff out to some of the, the neighborhood kids that were walking around doing their their trick-or-treating but alas here we are having to open them myself i doubt we might get some but i don't i don't think we will here at the, out of my apartment um but i'll still have 30 or so of these left over if any of them do end up coming by I'm not gonna open. I'm not gonna open this whole bag here today in the video. We got a Miss Magus, a Zubat, and a Haunter. Yeah. Okay. So there's a Haunter and a Ghastly in the set. So there's gotta be a Gengar in here. Gotta be. All right. We got Darkrai again. We're starting to starting to double up on some of these. I don't know how large the set is. It's not very big. Twenty five. Um, Twenty five cards or so. All right, next pack up, guys. Actually, I don't know how many of these I've opened. I'll open another, like, five more or so. We got a Hatterene, a Lampent, and a Naked. All right. Ooh, there's a Mewtwo. That's nice. Very nice. That's a cool one. That's probably one of, like, the better cards, I imagine, from this here little mini set. A Hatrim and a Mischievous. Okay, nice. Okay. We'll take that all day. All right. 
Gengar. Come on, Gengar. You know you want to come through. You know you want to be pulled if you do, in fact, exist in this little set here. <laughs> we got Ariados and a Murkrow. All right, guys. We've got two packs left. We're going to do two more packs. This is the penultimate Pokemon pack, the Triple P. We got, of course, Gengar in every single one of these. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. All right. Come on. Ah, we got the Trevenant again, it looks like. Yep. Right, we got the Trevenant again. All right, we got the Trevenant, and we got the Cubone, and we got the Dust Skull doing the lookouts. All right, last pack magic, guys, in this Halloween Pokemon card opening here. Let's see if we got... Ah, it's a Chandelure. Dang it. No Gengar. And if there uh, indeed actually was a Gengar in the set, we don't know for sure. Litwick and a Ghastly. Well, that's a fun. It's a fun, a fun little thing. Fun little. I'm, I'm, I'm real glad Pokemon decided to do something like that. I, th I think they, they needed to um, get their reach back out to um, some more kids. As you know, the last two years, a lot of adults have been spoiling Pokemon cards for kids because they've been buying them all up and scalping them and all that stuff. Not so much of an issue anymore. But I think this was a good idea for Pokemon c Company to get um, Pokemon cards back out there. To, to some kids so hope you did enjoy the video guys if you did smash that like rating down below don't forget to subscribe like i said before until next time stay legendary